Hello, welcome to Einstein Mechanics. In this episode, we are looking at multiplying a matrix by a scalar. How do we multiply a matrix by a scalar? So first, let's assume we have a matrix A in the form. We are representing our matrix in the form AIJ. This is our matrix and the order of this matrix is say M by N. And let's have our scalar as K, which is a real number. So where K is our scalar? Is our scalar. Because we want to multiply a scalar to a matrix. So we have our matrix, we have K, a real number, which is the scalar. How do we multiply? So in this case, multiplying the K by the matrix A is the same thing as multiplying the K by the matrix I, J, this way. Very simple. So, in other words, if we have matrix A as A, B, C, D, and we have our scalar as K, which can be any real number, our K multiplying by our matrix A is in this form. You multiply the scalar by all the members, which is K, this way, as in that. Are we good? So, the second point, if we have matrix B, which is a 3 by 3 matrix, where we have our scalar also as C S and we have to perform the operation S B. We multiply the scalar by the matrix, it is going to be this form. So the S multiplying A, the S multiplying the B, the S multiplying the C. The D, S, E, S, F, S, G, S, H, and S, I. So this is how we perform the operation by multiplying a scalar to a matrix. Very simple. So let's look at this example. So this example says, if A, we have A as 1, 2, 3, and we have 5, 0, 2. And our scalar K is equal to 5. We should find K A. Are we good? So K A, for the solution, what we are going to do is K A, which is equal to K is 5. 5 multiplying the A. This is also the same thing as this 5 multiplying, we know the matrix 1, 2, 3, 5, 0, 2. And we know how to perform the operation, which is the same thing as 5 multiplying the 1, 5, 1, 10, 15, 25, 0, and 5 multiplying by 2. That is also 10. So this answer is 5a. Are we good? We just multiply the scalar by each of the members of the matrix. Are we good? We can perform another example. Let's look at this example. Given that this matrix B is equal to 2, 4, and we have 2, 1. And we have a matrix C, which is equal to 0, negative 1, 2, 1. We are to find or evaluate 5B plus 2C. Are we okay? So, let's pay attention to this point. For the multiplication of matrix by a scalar, 
the size does not matter. Are we okay? So, irrespective of the size of the matrix, you can still multiply any scalar by the matrix. The size does not matter for the multiplication with a scalar. Are we good? So, with this example, what we are going to do is we are going to multiply matrix B by 5 and add it to matrix C multiplying 2. This is very simple. So this is what we are going to do. So 5B plus 2C. That is going to be, we are interested in the multiplication, then we do the addition. So this is the same as scalar 5 multiplying matrix B, which is 2, 4, 2, 1. Being added to scalar 2, adding to matrix C, 0, negative 1, 2, 1. We can add these two matrices because of the same order. Are we okay? So here I can perform my operation as 5 multiplying 2, which is 10, and 5 multiplying 4, which is 20. So 10, and I have 5 plus these two will multiply 0, and we have negative 2, 4, and we have 2. So with this addition, we know how to do matrix addition. And the final answer is going to be 10 plus 0, 10. This, we have our 18, that we have 14 and 5 and 2, we have Seven. So therefore, our 5B plus 2C from the matrix given is going to be 10, 18, 14, and 7. Are we okay? Very simple. So what we are saying is the size does not matter for multiplying a matrix with a scalar. Pay attention. With a scalar. So assuming we have example 3. If I have multiplying 2 by matrix A, where A is a row matrix, say 2, 4, 1. Since the size does not matter, our solution is going to be 2A, which is going to be you multiply 2 by 2, 4, 1, and that is going to be 2 by 2, that is 4 by this 8 and by this 1. Are we okay? The same thing if we have a column matrix, say B, which is 0, 1, negative 1, where our scalar K is 5, and we are to evaluate, say, KB. Then our KB is going to be 5 by the matrix 0, 1, negative 1. And that is going to be 5 by 0, 0, and 5, negative 5. So with the multiplication by a scalar, the size does not matter. No matter the size, you can perform your multiplication. Are you okay? Let's try a particular example that we have over here. So with this example, I have, let's say, example. We have matrix A as 0, 9. 2, negative 3, negative 1, and 1. So this is our first matrix. We have matrix B giving us 8, 1, negative 7, 0, 4, negative 1. And we have matrix C also as 2, 3, negative 2, we have 5, and we have 10, negative 6 this way 
and we are to find 3a plus 2b minus half of c we are to evaluate this how do we go by it you can do them separately perform operation on 3a operation on 2b half of c then you do the final thing or you can just do it straightforward so i prefer to do them one by one so let me take 3a that is going to be multiplying matrix a by scalar 3 0 9 2 negative 3 and that is going to be negative 1 1 and with that i'm going to get this from the matrix so 3 by 0 that is going to be 0 3 by 9 that is 27 this one is going to give me 6 negative 9 negative 3 and 3 so that is for 3a let's look at 2b multiplying matrix b by 2 so this is 8 1 negative 7 0 4 negative 1 and that is going to yield this matrix as 2 by 8 that is 16 2 by 1 2 negative 14 0 that is 8 negative 2 that is for matrix 2b let's look at half of c i'm going to multiply matrix c by half and that is going to be half of matrix c 2 3 negative 2 5 10 negative 6 so multiplication by half so half of 2 and that is going to be 1 half of 3 that is going to be 3 on 2 half of negative 2 negative 1 half of 5 5 on 2 half of 10 5 and half of negative 6 that is also going to give me negative 3 so these are the matrices we are getting from the operation 3a 2b half of c and we are to find 3a plus 2b minus half of c meaning 3a gave us a matrix in the order 0 27 6 negative 9 negative 3 3 plus 2b is also giving us 16 2 negative 14 0 8 negative 2 minus matrix c which is giving us 1 3 on 2 negative 1 5 on 2 5 and negative 3 now we can perform the operation so with this the final answer is going to be 0 plus 16 minus 1 and that is going to give us 15 so 27 plus 2 minus 3 on 2 that is going to give us 55 on 2. 6 plus negative 14 minus minus 1. That is going to give us negative 7. Negative 9 plus 0 minus 5 on 2. That is also negative 23 on 2. This and that, you are getting 0 here. And with that, too, we are getting 4. So this is the answer for 3a plus 2b minus half of c from the matrix given. So it's quite interesting and very easy to go through and perform your multiplication. Thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we are going to tackle multiplying one matrix by the other. Please subscribe to the channel and like our videos.